when the order came out for us to wear face coverings, we knew that there might be a population of our community, especially our low-income community, that could not afford masks for the entire family, especially the cloth ones. So we thought it was prudent for us to help to provide those for that population. So we partnered with our neighborhood planning councils, we work with the civic associations in those low poverty in neighborhoods, and we're giving out over 20,000 masks for adults and children. Thank you so much. No problem. We want folks to be safe. If folks are going to be out, it's warmer, they're probably going to be around other people as restrictions are lifted. We have to make sure our citizens are armed and protected. Until there's a vaccine, we're going to have to continue to do our part. We knew that there still were numerous seniors and shut-ins who were could not come out to those sites. So we have a team from the Achievement Center who are going door to door to distribute to those seniors that we've been able to identify. The impetus for all this came from the council president and from Councilman Johnson. Uh, they felt very strongly that the public um, was underserved in this regard. We agreed and so we went out and found the money to buy the masks. I'm very proud of uh, my council. I'm grateful for the great sense of cooperation that something like this has demonstrated. Um, I just, I think this is a, a bellwether for the future. I feel really good about things. Thank you. Did you, um, did you and we wanted to make sure that we put money into the economy, so we worked very hard to find local vendors so that we could put that money back into the economy. It's amazing how everybody came together. We called the neighborhood planning councils uh, because who best knows the neighborhoods than them? And they organized their teams and their, their volunteers, and we're all out here on a citywide giveaway. So that was our, that was our mode to make sure that everybody is properly safe so we could put a are into this COVID-19.